Daddy. Mr. Tibbers bites the nasty dragon. But me! No, he's mine! <laughs> hey! Tibbers is stupid. Huh? No, he's not! Give him back! <laughs> you do? She took Tibbers. What is wrong with you? It was an accident. Daisy started it. Oh, did she now? Well, I'm sure she didn't mean to. We'll be playing together before you know it, okay? I promise, Firefly. A monster. How could you say that? You know it's true.
<laughs> Next time, you get my back. In the Freljord, we all come from the same family. And like all families, we fight. Keep moving! Catch up to the others. We'll hold them off. him well. us apart but we only survive together as a family Too? I'm glad you know the way out. She's been fed! On your guard! Escape, buddy! That's my friend! And you're
what separates men from lesser men? Predators from prey? Fear. Predators smell it. away when they don't. City, surrender your crown. End this bloodshed. Crown is mine by birth, granted to me by my royal blood. As I do. Subjects. You no longer have subjects. Today, they become citizens of Noxus. Rejoice at the end of kings. Noxus offers freedom and fortune for any strong enough to take it. <laughs> Turned to me by a slave. Unworthy even to touch it or stand in my presence. <laughs> Don't you see, Noxium? The gods return the crown to me. End this bloodshed? No. The kingdom is mine. Or it is a graveyard. Show them, girl. No! Excellent fellow! <laughs> Kings demand you kneel before their heirlooms and unearned titles. Noxus wants you to stand, so you can be reforged in a glory. Shared by all. People waste a lot of time. Then they wish for more. One more hours in their days. More days in their years, more years in their lives. As if they had all that extra time, they could fix any mistake. I don't need hours or days or years. I only need seconds.
Here's the thing about time. If you can't make the most out of any given moment, then you don't deserve a single extra second. Sides on edge after Foss Barrel. Yeah, filthy mages. <laughs> they show up here. They show up here, and I'll. Come. Tedric. Hey, Tedric. Help me! Help me! Tedric. We once danced in harmony with the land, until the tyrants defiled it. But when they shattered our spirit, we became sharpest at the break. We are the defenders of the First Lands, and we remember the cost of peace. Another dawn brings a new day to continue the hunt. My ancestors built Nazuma away from the Ascended and other would-be rulers. But monsters come in all shapes and sizes. I Sante, stand between them and my people to the end. This is the tale of a young hunter. 
this greatest battle. Together, the hunter and his love, the archer, defended their homes from the monsters that threatened it. With his entofos in hand and his love by his side, the hunter felt invincible. But there were times, many times, when the archer urged the hunter to temper his skill with strategy. Unfortunately, the young hunter couldn't see that there is no monster greater than pride. And so, the archer moved on to other adventures, but he left behind one final gift. The hunter could finally see his monster, arrogance. The archer had been right. That is how the young hunter defeated his greatest monster. How could you betray us like this? Because I could. Because I wanted to. It ain't about the money. <laughs> it ain't all about the money. With my dying breath, I offer my soul to thee. Lady of Vengeance, let justice be done. Pledge accepted. What are you? We are the Spear of Vengeance. We come for you, Deceiver. Not a chance. <laughs> Innocent blood, sting your hands. Open, Samuel! Your pockets overflow with the spoils of treachery. Take it! Take it off!
tree has shown me dreams of the world outside my garden. They've taught me that all of us have a little sparkle. That precious light lives on even when we sleep. shines when we're facing the darkest nightmare. But now those dreams have stopped. And Mother Tree is dying. I, I can do this. I can brave the world beyond my garden. Can't I? Evils, ancient and deadly, exist in every corner of the world. They have made themselves comfortable, taking what is not theirs, gorged on the suffering of others. I will face them all, and crush them. Lord of the Waters! Grant me swiftness for this trial. <laughs> I am Leela of the Seventh Layer. May you find joy in the world beyond. I hope the heavens are watching. I hope they're nervous. Thank <laughs> you. 
fight. The hardened live. That's what they taught me. What they forced down my throat. They wanted me to be strong. Ruthless. Cold as iron. <laughs> transformed fields of bare stone into wonders of life and magic. It carved mountains, drained oceans, and burned skies. It never faded. It only grew stronger. Hidden away, waiting to be found. The stronger it grows, the louder it calls.
Others seek to claim this power for strength, balance, control. say I can't be trusted maybe they're right but the only power I truly have is the strength to let it go They grow up to be gigantinormous and strong. Dragon fire can beat anything. Well, anything that burns. Roar! Oh no! He's too strong! <laughs> Even the great kings and queens of Camaror knew to treat dragons like royalty. Thank you for saving us, so oh awesome dragon. Please take these gifts. And one day, the fiercest. Bestest dragon of all will be me, Smolder! Roar! Good. I'm fine, Mom. I didn't mean to. Roar! I have the vision to see what others cannot. The monsters of today will be the heroes of tomorrow. And by my hand will Noxus rise once more. Honor. Justice. Tradition. All shackles for the ignorant. After 
15 years in the dark, I was illuminated. All we need to start the fire is a single spark. The Marcia was not built on a dream. The Marcia was built on a lie. All those noble ideals and promises of a brighter future, they were never meant for the likes of us. We have been stripped of our freedom, our dignity, our very lives. I say no more. Mages of the Marcia, the day has come. It's time we fight back. Into a sunken town, the handsome gambler ran. For he owed gold and blood, and yet had none to spare. Desperate and forlorn, he was about to change his path and walk away, when he heard a song that called on him to chance his luck again. Now the singer was a creature with the biggest mouth the gambler had ever seen. Excuse my song, the monstrous siren said. The tune's purpose was your attention. But I knew you had troubles, and I can offer absolutions. Can you carry me from this bind? The youth asked. <laughs> Boy, the world's one river, and I'm its king. Ain't no place I ain't been. Ain't no place I can't go again. And the price is a minuscule thing. See, I got hungers that ain't easily fed. But those finest tables, they ain't never got a seat for me. So I need men like yourself to let me in. Now the gambler's only hunger was dice and cards, so this bargain, it seemed too easy a price. If you're offering a ticket, the youth finally said, that's a deal I will take. And before another word was spoke, the monster snapped him up and fled. To a faraway land, the gambler was conveyed. At a palace of chance, he was left. Years passed, and love the gambler found. His bride, a princess, and the wedding, none would miss. Now when that hungry beast finally did arise, the family screamed and fought. And although the gambler tried to cast him out, it ate the gifts, and house, and gold. For its hunger, nothing satisfied. Please, not now, not this time. The bride did cry. The beast's response to her it purred. This hunger's a burden, but it's the last time, I swear. So please, forgive. Now the creature's lies, so melodic and sincere, charmed that bride, and thus she failed to recognize when that demon's jaw unhinged. She screamed just once as I snapped her bones and crushed her limbs. Now that meal, <laughs> it left me satisfied. So cry if you want, boy, cause you had a chance to walk away. Instead, you're the fool, the fool who let me in.
was a bad deal, man! Ah, shut up and move! Which way? Over here!
Several lives betrayed and bleeding. Something incredible occurs. For though she does not know it, Sivir is the last in the bloodline of Azir, Sharima's lost emperor. And as her blood soaks into the ancient sands, a deep magic sparks to life. Resurrection. First Azir's mind, then his body, snatched back from oblivion to be reborn. Then he sees Sivir, wonders at her face. He sees himself in this daughter of Shirima. In that moment, he has no thought of empires or rituals. He only knows she needs his help. He must take her to the oasis of the dawn, the mother of life. He smells the waters, smells of life. He prays he's in time. He does not dream that he, Shirima's greatest emperor, can at long last earn his ascension and bring back his broken city. He dares not dream that if he can save her, Azir can save them all.
What happens when an outsider destroys the balance of this land? Is this another one of your riddles, old man? A test, perhaps. Anoxian. You don't cut guardian trees. I'll teach him a lesson. With your steel? You're just a kid. Stay away! Adorable. Seems like I'm the one holding all the cards now. Well played, Captain. You finally landed me. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. I'm after a bigger fish. Your partner. <laughs> now, Graves is too smart to walk into a trap. If you think he'd be stupid enough to bash... <laughs> Let him go and nobody gets hurt. Damn it. Dumb luck is a gift of his. <laughs> Oh, is it? Make any more trouble. Okay, you win. So who gets to collect my bounty? Well, by arrangement, we always split 50-50. Nah, hold up, 70-30. What are you talking about? Well, the 
time, I'm pretty sure I just saved you again. Which means I get the bigger well, I had it perfectly under control until you came first. You were upside down like a piece of paper. Call that shit. Get your elbow out of my mouth. That is not my elbow. Stop moving. You are a very large man. Shh. What was that? As promised, two for the price of one. Excellent. Your quarter master. Oh, thanks, Captain. You're lucky I like you. <coughs> These two will make a worthy sacrifice to the beasts below. Prepare yourselves for 1,000 years of suffering. Hold on a second. Say, well, we talk this out, How right? Does that even I'm work? Work? I'm not even going to miss that thing. I'm going to put it down the I've got 20 years back. But not with this guy. I don't know what I'm going to Don't worry. This isn't your last hand. Let's go before this gets ugly. Looks like the tides of Bilgewater have shifted again, my friend. Here. So long, sea witch! My sacrifice. Find someone else to feed your monster. Stop them. You gotta catch us first, this funny bit. No. <sighs> Just another beautiful day in Dude's Water. It really is. It is impressive, if I do say so myself. Sure is, Professor. But what does it do? Do the Hextech core generates more energy than a quadradium power cell. The applications are limitless. Would you like to sneak a peek? Boy, would I! Tomorrow, all of Piltover will catch a glimpse of the future. <laughs> Got you! Oh, oh dear! Got you! <laughs> oh no! Who would do this? <laughs> Don't you worry, Professor. I'll get it back. But do be careful. You're so pretty. What if I transfer the energy to? <laughs> Thank you, Jinx, for liking me. Oh, no problem, Mr. Sparkles. Now let's start this party. Perfect. <laughs> oh, man. Redirect this. I might get more thrust to. Here goes nothing. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, let's see what this thing can do. Whoa! 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor Heimerdinger. I guess I couldn't get it. It's all right, my young apprentice, but this is a most unanticipated outcome. <laughs> what a clever design. Now, what if we adjusted the electromagnetic coils? It could generate enough energy to... Ladies and gentlemen, behold! <laughs> <laughs> A power of invention!
Listen, beast. You don't stand a chance against Fior Larat. Watch your guard, though. You think they're ready to join the vanguard? Well, they certainly know the flashy stuff. But seeking glory only goes so far. <laughs> Will glory be there for every failure? Will glory lift you through all your trials? A true Demacian seeks excellence. So when you face death's terrible jaws, you will not falter! <laughs> Fiora? You want me to sugarcoat it? You keep at it. already are. I've seen this before. A vision in the pools. When the moon blocks the sun, our path to freedom will be illuminated at Dragon's Roost. I won't let them tear us apart, no matter the cost. There's no path. What do we do? Have faith. There she is! And him? Traitor. Wait! <laughs> Just two halves of the same circle. Do you see it now? Our path together. Have faith.
pages are missing from his scout journal. Yeah. Besides, yeah. weren't there enemy bogeys spotted over Piltover? Bogeys? Bogeys? Why didn't you say so? I'll help you save Timo! <sighs> Lieutenant Lulu, this, uh, rock is the most important part of the mission. Uh, You've got this. Bye! Aww. I always have to guard the rock. I can do a lot of things. Tristana? Nope. Oh, mission's gone south. Want to go cause a ruckus? <laughs> I thought I struck gold when I got one yodel. Now look what we got. You got. Don't care how much those yodels are worth on the bounty board. They're a ticking time bomb in trouble. What's your whining? That cage is <sighs> runic iron. Oh, Corky. Prepare to face Randall City's most decorated fireworks! <laughs> Makes three. I'm <laughs> rich. What was your plan? Oh, I'm just a distraction. What? As I said, tick, tick, tick. But Donna, I've been watching this rock all day, and it doesn't do anything. I'm starting to think that maybe. Don't touch your Donna. <laughs> Timo! Is that all the mustard you got? I got Drop your weapon, you little! What's a bandle gunner without her support? What I tell you, you don't mess with yodels. Thanks. I thought I was a gun. <laughs> Not with friends like these furballs. What were you here for anyway? Vandal Scout mission badge number 389. Adopt a pet. <laughs> <laughs> Cute, huh? It's a school devouring seaworm! Yoda! Timo, wait! Wait! Timo, wait! wait.
answer for what you have done. Yone, turn back. You have dishonored us. You swore to protect him! You swore to protect Ionia. Look around you, brother. Your honor stains the ground. Better than living without it. <laughs> Apologies, Opa. I didn't mean to. It's all right. Ah, the spirits wait for no one. No, I'm not. Looking to commune? Why else would the great Yasuo come? But are you ready? Does that matter? I'll never make it up there in time. True, the road is long. Perhaps my own temple can still provide a way. The choice is yours. Hmm. Is it? It's taken years for the spirit blossoms to return. If the land is ready to heal, perhaps you are as well. And this is the way? <laughs> Old man, flowers, and hope. Maybe hope is enough. Yeah, maybe. Immerse yourself in the River Whaley. Let the waters cleanse you. Let the currents take this burden you carry. Remember who you have lost. Let me go, Yone! I was winning! Did you see me take out that big one? I saw you dishonor yourself. You fight? When I have to, not when I want to. You don't have anything to prove. There is always another fight, Yasuo. Finding it proves nothing. Your place is here. With Elder Suma. He trained me for this. I can help end this war. Your duty is to this school, to your master, to Ionia. Then I should be out there protecting her. I won't fail you, Yone. It seems I have already failed you. Forge a bond between our realms. A drink rarely gets me out of trouble. 
Sometimes we must go looking for our demons. Show yourself. might deserve death, but not by my hand. Then there is nothing left for me in Ionia. Even the wind has a path, brother. Farewell, Yone. May the spirit of Ionia guide you. It's easier looking back, isn't it? The trick is seeing what lies ahead. From what I hear, most likely thieves, beasts, and drink. It is a lawless place. Where you can decide your own fate. Besides, we're both looking for something, aren't we? And you think we'll find it in Bilgewater? I think we'll find many things.
Long ago, a king was driven mad by the death of his wife. In a desperate quest to bring her back, he struck down all who stood between him and the waters of life. Desecrating the blessed chamber led to ruination. A black mist that consumes all. Defenders of the light fought back. Their cause? A fleeting shimmer against the black. This ruined king will sacrifice all to reclaim what is his. Sentinels defend the light. But they will learn. Their feeble light died long ago in that chamber. All that remains is the dark. are reaching further across the waters every year. I can't let that happen. That is what your father said. I relight the words and come right back. I must do this for him. Go. Hello? Father?
Father! Everything to me. But they took her. And with her, they took my kindness and my mercy. That was their mistake. Because now, all I've got left is a cold heart. They thrive on doubt. They feast on fear. These wretched abominations blight this world. And every last one of them will perish by my hand.
long have you waited? Now, the time has come for your revenge. A harrowing across all
The housing's loose again. What did you do to this thing? You'll have it fixed by Mudtown. With currents and wind conditions, we can be there in three days. from here. Well, it saved us a trip. Sit up. Hey, we don't run from darkness. We light the way. Destroy this world! <laughs> she is my world. Go back for her. Sinner? We can't defeat him alone.
Death descends. The light is fading. Who will join us? Who will be our hope? down and hit her with everything we got on it wait a monster. No, Viego's the real monster. And there aren't enough arrows in the world to stop him. We need to work together, or he will destroy everything. What is this place? This is where you make a choice. Stand with us in the light, or fall alone to the darkness. She's reckless, Inna. And we'll need more just like her to stop what's coming. Are you two just going to stand there? Or are we going to find something to kill? my friend. Yes, I know. I said I wouldn't use your absolver. <laughs> but look at it. It's magnificent! Mm? But not you. Not yet. 
I know you had other plans for me, Shadia. But I choose vengeance. Want to know how Akshan saved the world? <laughs> Let's see, where to begin? Ah, I know. A very long time ago, the king of Kamavor fell in love with a humble seamstress. They were soon married, but it didn't last. Poor Isolde was tragically killed. Of course, Viego went berserk and wanted to bring her back from death. <laughs> Silly man, only Akshan can do this. Still, he tried what was forbidden and unleashed the ruination, creating the Shadow Isles. Now swing forward a few centuries and we get to a couple of sentinels, saving the world from villainy and the undead. Like Akshan, but with less fluttering of the cape. <laughs> On their travels, the two met a cruel villain who imprisoned Senna in his lantern. Lucian spent years searching for her, and when he finally helped her escape, well, Senna had changed. New powers, long gun, hearing voices in her head. So, the ruined king has been restored to his uh, youthful form, spewing mist across Runeterra, searching for his lost queen. The scoundrel finds Senna. Get this, the voices in her head were Isolde. Lucian and Senna are in deep, but they escape. And they realize they can't stop Diego alone. They will need to recruit more Sentinels of Light. So, where was I? Ha ah, that's right. Senna and Lucian sailed to the Sentinel headquarters, but only found a strange sweet girl and a single rookie Sentinel. Oh, this is not enough to save the world. So, they had to recruit a team. First stop, Demacia. The black mist was everywhere, ruining people. The scoundrel was also there, stealing a magic relic while the team fought a ruined dragon? Woman? Dragon. They were helped by a demon slayer who plays by her own rules. Like Akshan, but with less bending and breaking. When all was settled, the Sentinels had their first recruit. On to the Freljord, where even their summers are frozen solid. Surprisingly, no Sentinels. Instead, the team found a madman who wanted his comeuppance in battle. They also met a sad, depressed yodel named Vex. Hmm, looks like Viego is also recruiting. Our new friend has two axes. Huh, this is better, I think. Finally, in Noxus, the Sentinels met a fierce swordmaster. Together, they sneaked into the immortal bastion, but the ruined king was already there. Turns out he's gathering parts of his queen's soul to bring her back to life. Again! Viego then scurried off and sent in the worst of heels. Still, not all was lost. The Swordmaster joined the cause. Although her weapon was not up to sentinel code. Let's see how she fares in the battles to come. still there, friend? So, in Ionia, the Sentinels met a spiritual leader who was struggling against the curse of ruination. She told a story of love and sacrifice and blah 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 blah. All lies. But she did reveal one truth. Isolde's spirit lived inside Senna and Gwen. But then the forest itself turned to ruin and seized another artifact for Viego. 
the team survived with a little help from a deadly blade dancer. And she joined the cause, hoping to restore her land. Together, they reached Mount Targon. Very tall, perfect for grappling hooks. A warrior with a crescent blade and shimmering armor guided the team to the summit. There, they found Viego battling a god. How do you defeat one of those? Well, if you're a scoundrel, you take control of their mind. Haha, -ha, but the Sentinels had enlisted a god of their own, so to speak, and served up just desserts. Of course, Sneaky Viego escaped with another item. He is very good at that. Huh. Now where will he turn up next? Let's see, what else did they tell me? Ah, yes. In Piltover, the crew found another artifact, but it was snatched up by a most disreputable thief. He actually tried to pawn the fetter in Zorn, for profit! But there's no honor among scoundrels. The sad Yodel swiped him, hoping to cast the world into shadow. And without a world, there'd be nothing left to steal. So that's how a thief came to take the Sentinel Oath. In Ishtar, the team split up to search the jungle. A ferocious hunter joined the cause and led Sentinel Sirius to an ancient temple where a certain friendless lowlife offered a deal. Give up an artifact for the key to defeating Viego, a lost Sentinel in Shurima who could pull allies back from death. Any guesses who that might be? This was breaking many rules, but it was a good trade. In Bilgewater, the team made a bargain with a fiery ship's captain. She would surrender an artifact in exchange for the Sentinel's help. Together, they confronted Viego. But when it was time to give him comeuppance, the treacherous captain switched sides. Pure villainy! They had to fight the ruined traitor, helped only by an undead... murderer? Well, it seems the team was getting very desperate. <laughs> but not for long. All this in the name of love. All the sacrifices that were made. All the lives forever tainted. You have driven good men mad. And mad men good. No atrocity is beyond your reach. She belongs to me. So predictable.
Viego. Your black and broken heart has destroyed everything. You turned our season of love into an eternity of bitterness and madness. All this death, all this ruination. And for what? This obsession? Wasn't that enough? Our tragedy should have died with me. Now, let me rest. Devil. Boss! Get the food out! Double quick, sir. Oh. Oh, here you are, sir. Oh, bagger. Sorry, sir. Cursed arm. Yep, picked a major's pocket. He gave me the old zapparoo. Now it does what it wants. You have to watch who you trifle with in Noxus. Do you know? Port! Get the dishes, you crustaceous scum! Oh. Bugger! Stop it. Pardon? Bugger! Port! More elk milk! Bloody sweet crab! Sorry, sir. Double quick, man! Pardon? Dodgy arm! Sorry, cursed hand! More biscuits! More milk! Double quick! Double quick! Would you like a uh, warm bowl, sir? No, thank you, Port. I'm saving my appetite. For your service. Oh. Oh. Go on. Put it to pocket before someone else does. Thank, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, what? Well, uh, I'd put it toward your debt if I didn't need to cover all the broken plates of stupidity. Longer than you could imagine. A 
phantom chained to the Shadow Isles. But no one escapes. I forgot how squishy they are. I'm free now to do as I wish. Oh no! Here he is, friend Bort. The hand at your tether. Wait! We're friends! Who else would take you in? A little ripping between friends. Just me and old Bort having a laugh. <laughs> right, Bort? Right? Someone gives and someone gets. There are two sides to every transaction. Your curse is his. His profit, sir. Would you like to be free, Bort? Never again to feel the sting of your accursed deformity? You, you can do this. My dear Bort, there is life, there is death, and there is me. Just a little ribbing between friends.
the void. Your watchers are incapable of understanding. I am the void, and I will remake all of Rundera. <laughs> Your Empress has arrived. Witness your reward. The end of everything.
Это... a hope. Never a promise. It's in my blood, it's in my veins